video guys so i'm back uh, with another video for the quarantine series especially for those who are stranded abroad so this one is more about the tips for quarantine like once you're here uh, what you can do and how you can make yourself more at ease with these are basic small tips and sometimes people get bored over here because they don't have much to do so i might give some ideas and then you you choose what you want to do from that it's up to you but definitely i enjoyed my quarantine and just sharing a little bit of what can help you out you will notice in this video that i'm going back and forth like there's a flashback to the quarantine and i'm back in the room here so basically what's happening is that i recorded some parts there and some parts here so it's a mixture of both the What's important is you're getting the message and it doesn't matter from where, right? Let's begin with the first tip. This, I would say, is a must-have item when you're traveling and coming to quarantine. These are antibacterial household wipes and you can use it even in the plane just to sanitize your surrounding and uh, when you come to the room you can just clean all the surface with it and this is really really handy just clean your space around and you feel more at ease that you've done the cleaning yourself yeah just don't use it on your face though You'll be here for 14 days and you'll have to, of course, wash your clothes and dry them. But if you have the balcony space, then you will get to dry them only at the balcony. And uh, some people got the ground level, ground floor. I saw them drying their clothes on the trees. Like there was a rope attached from one tree to another. And I just had a small balcony space and I like to feed birds and the birds came and poo poo there. So I wasn't really so keen on drying my clothes there. Just in case, I would advise that you do get a small piece of rope or if you don't have that, like I didn't have that, so use some plastic bag and um, cut strips out of it and then like, like strips and then just tie them and it makes a very nice sturdy support for drying the clothes. If you are from a Desi family, you have a traditional background, you will know about collecting dishes. The food will come in plastic containers uh, and boxes like these. We collect these boxes. So instead of just throwing it away once you're done, you can wash it and then make use of it differently. For example, I sometimes put sugar or the creamer in one box and you can also put your detergent sponge, toothbrush, toothpaste. It's quite convenient and it looks very clean. See how neat that looks already? To use plastic bottles that they're giving you for water once you finish it you can actually use this to pour it in your kettle so you don't have to take the kettle directly to the sink i don't know about all the other uh, quarantine centers but at casuarina in the bathroom we did not have any muslim shower or what's that word wait bidai sprayer yeah i think it's called bidai sprayer if you're someone who uses that then you just take a water bottle and keep one in the washroom. You'll also be getting a lot of uh, plastic spoons and a fork inside plastic bags. Like, and it's a waste of plastic. So much plastic. So I would suggest you bring your own uh, knife, fork and spoon and say no to all the plastic coming into the rooms. Do bring some chocolate or some snacks with you because you really enjoy them in quarantine. Ooh, chocolates, chocolates. What life savers for me. Because there won't be anyone to judge you. You can eat the whole box. Nobody will tell anyone. 
but you can do exercise later on. You're in a very peaceful environment and you hear the chirping of the birds every morning. The view is so peaceful and calm, so you might want to make the best of it and do meditation every morning. It's really, really calming and soothing and has, I mean, I felt really good about that. So you are allowed to ask family members to bring things for you. Um, certain things, not all the things. If you are someone who'd like to wash their own clothes and you won't stuff it in the bag. Yeah, you want to wash your own clothes. So you can have like a small bucket and the hotel does provide washing powder uh, so you can just use that to soak all your clothes wash it in and then dry it or you must have this sponge and detergent okay even if you're not washing dishes you can wash surfaces or just keep things clean so another thing that I would suggest uh, for you to bring when you are traveling is a small travel size shampoos, uh, conditioner, uh, face wash, all your shower items because we weren't provided with that over here. We just get two bars of soap and that's all. So like unless you wash your hair with soap, that's your choice. <music> Download some series or bring some books with you because yes, you will have a TV uh, for entertainment but you will be very limited with what you can watch uh, unless you like watching these kind of shows. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Drink plenty of water, keep yourself hydrated, stay moisturized, but moisturized in the mornings. I was still jet lagged and I was feeling dizzy for a week or so, really tired. But drinking water and rehydration salt really helped me a lot, so yeah, do that. Do you know what size my gloss was? Just a minute. There you go. <laughs> You will feel tired after this long trip so this is one tip which i'm sure not many of you would like to use it but i did it you can use tea bags on your eyes as you're done with it sometimes some days you'll feel very lonely and you'll need someone to talk to so you can always make new friends They kept me good company till I ate them. That's about it guys and I would like to end this video with a request for you guys to like, share and subscribe and special thanks to all those who sent me messages personally letting me know how my videos have been helping them and I really 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 appreciate that uh, you guys reaching out to me and it means a lot to me. And let me know if this video was helpful or not or if there's something that you'd like to introduce uh, so that it can help others or was there something you could relate to uh, just write it down and I will surely reply back to you. Uh, stay tuned for the next one uh, where I will be joined by other people who will also talk about their experience. I won't be the only one talking. Yay! <laughs> it's, it's a work in progress and I'm looking forward to that. And thank you for watching this one. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Do it now. <laughs> yes. Okay then. 